welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are very, very pumped to be back up in Vilas County. We are very we excited. We love Vilas County. Super excited. Hearts pounded. <laughs> yeah. So we're really excited to be back up here. And of course, we're back in Vilas County, so what are we going to do? We're going to go fish walleye. You bet. Vilas County has a ton of lakes, and a lot of these lakes up here are really, really gin clear lakes. Yes, they are. And those can be difficult to catch fish, right? <laughs> Very tough. However, we're going to break it down for you and share some of our favorite techniques, finesse techniques, to catch a lot of clear water walleyes. Not the easiest thing to do, but if you take the right tactics, put all the pieces together, it can be done. We're going to break that down for you in this episode, but Vilas County is just not all about fishing. It, it is should not. be, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> no, Vilas County is such a great vacation destination for whole families. There's so much to do. So if you have a non-angler among you, yep. that's okay. Um, and like us anglers, we want to be out on the water. Well, we're hoping that today we can give you some techniques so that you can say to whoever that non-fisherman is in yep. your family, you can go out and get some walleyes maybe for a fish fry. First things first. Yep, first things first. Going out and getting some walleyes. That's right. We got boat loaded, we're ready to go. You ready? Yeah. I'm All ready. right, everybody stay tuned. We'll be right back with some great walleye action on the Sportsman's Journal. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. To view their full lineup of open water apparel, head to strikerbrands.com. That was an awesome hit. Wow. Came up and popped. I'm gonna swing it over to your side, hon, just because of the wind. Okay. Go ahead, I'll reel in. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> this spot should only yeah. get better as that sun gets a little bit lower, is what I'm thinking. That's the that's the hope. But here's the thing about a lot, this is a nice fish. I'm not kidding you. Uh, you just pulled a little drag. Yeah, these clear lakes up here, we're mm. kind of, we kind of planned it out, overcast, cloudy. That's when you kind of come up here. Wow, he is yeah, this really is a good, this is a really good fish. Stand down. This could be this could be something special here. What do we got? Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. Kind of swing him right in, hon. That tungsten kept him pinned. Oh my oh. goodness! Right at the last second. The true hero, right there, oh, the, the backman. This right here is a beaut. Nice. Wow. Dandy fish. It's Holy always cow. good when you get a couple nice ones in the bag yeah, right away. Look at that thing in the net. That's beautiful. Let's take a gander at him. Oh man, yes, look at that, unbelievable, nice, nice fish, job. yeah, look at that, I love it, northern Wisconsin beauty, all right, starting to put a little pattern together, got him on the, right on the brake line, We're trying. dragging the old tungsten with minnow, I love it. That right there is a fish. Another one on your spot there, huh? Yes, 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 yes. I'm guessing you want me to get the net for you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a net, but one thing in this wind that you wanna consider, and what Sarah and I have been doing pretty much all day today, is Ooh. we're Don't doing a slow on. drag instead of the traditional jig. That's an interesting net job. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that's because <laughs> of the wind. Yeah. But the big thing about dragging your bait and keeping that rod tip close to the water is that you don't have what's happening right now. This wind is picking up and you can see the bow in my line because the further you have that rod tip up off the water, the more bow, the less you're gonna feel what's going on. All right, what do you guys think? Another dandy Northwoods walleye. Wow, like it. Another one of those good eater size. Yes, it is. Yeah, we're gonna put them right back in there. That wind's starting to blow. That is a fish. Nice job. Yes. How's that feel? Good? That was a, he picked it up and picked sucked it up. on it yeah. for a minute. Yes. That's what we like. Way net, way out there. you thinking or no? We're going to put a walleye in the net, you bet. All right, put We're a not going to mess around. This is no. northern Wisconsin. This there we go. 
this is the real deal here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good work. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I got a pretty good cast I'm confident about, so I'm gonna let you handle it from there. Okay, that works for me. I got him. Look at that. Oh my goodness, barely hooked. Ooh, like, wow. barely. That's the sharpness of those tungsten jigs from Northland. That barely is hooked. Perfect. That's perfect. Do you have another fish? Yep. What in the world? Fish on! You just have the hot hand. It's feeling good today. It's all in the drag. Don't you think? I don't know. <laughs> we have this exact same thing I know on, you so. are. We're actually using the same color, which yeah. is pretty rare. It's not color. There she is down there. Doggone it, this is a blast. Oh, it's so much fun. Look at this fish. Holy cow. It's a feisty one. That's another good one. Swing it right in. There you go. Nice. Thank you. Oh, I like it when we start to get a pattern together. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. If it was just me fishing, I'd say there's nothing here. Well, it's teamwork. I can't net all these by myself, Sarah. I better be quiet. I'm going to get in trouble. Another good looking fish, huh? Perfect. I like it. Walleyes in northern Wisconsin, specifically Vilas County, are notoriously elusive. There's a lot of other activities going on on the lake. But highly sought after. They are, it's the gin clear, they can see everything, but the anglers want the walleyes, right? Two factors to keep in, in mind, keep away from the boat and finesse tactics. And so our, our rod, our weapon of choice, is really important today to be able to get us as far away from the boat as we can yep. when we're casting light stuff. And we both have uh, Kramer Custom Rods, our KCRs. We both have a 7.3 X11 series uh, light extra fast action rod. And the extra fast action is really important when we're way out there with these small stuff that are, the tip of our rod can load up. We can see that when those, because these wallies are barely picking it up. And any tension that they are feeling, they're gonna drop it and go. Yep. So we can see our rod tip load up, then we're kind of backing off, letting them suck on the minnow, and then setting the hook. And giving her. But that is giving us the first indication right away that that has been picked up. And then the, I think the micro guides are really important to talk about too. Yep. Uh, because of the wind, uh, we can keep our line obviously closer to our rod. That's giving us more feel and less slack in our yeah. line for better hook right. sets. And so. the wind is supposed to let down today at some point. Hopefully. <laughs> so we're looking forward to that. We're using P-Line Original. We don't talk about our fishing line a whole lot. No, we don't. So it's good to talk about that. A little bit of stretch, which is we, what we like in these clear water situations. And then we got a fluorocarbon leader. We always talk about having a leader abrasion resistance because we're down there crawling around yeah. in the gravel, crawling around in some boulders. So you want to make sure that you don't get any nicks in your line. And then we always have, when we're fishing together, especially with the jig head, we got our barrel swivel on there. And that's crucial for line twists so we don't get big old rat's nest. Mm -hmm. And you got that tungsten jig head on there. That tungsten jig head down there, bouncing off the logs, bouncing Feel off the rocks, so feeling important. everything. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna help you catch a lot more fish. So that is one thing to consider when you come out here on these clear bodies water, like Sarah mentioned at the start of this talk. Know what you need for your equipment. Mm -hmm. It's gonna help you catch a lot more fish. Yeah. I might as well just stop fishing. No, I need you. These are so far away from the boat, it makes it even more fun with the fight. Yeah, you got quite a battle. Yeah, this is a quite the battle. This guy's way out there. I love it. That 7.3 on the KCR model that we're using, light action, so a little bit smaller tip, but it's perfect for being able to fling those baits a long ways. But so helpful on the hook sets. He's a surface guy. Yeah, he's coming right in, That a boy. Come on, say hi. Welcome aboard the Crestliner. All right. He uh, took that whole unit down. That tungsten is down inside there. Look at that. Perfect. You need a pliers? Uh, let's see what I can do here. No, look at that. Oh, wow. Perfect. Awesome. That's a pretty one. Yeah, it is. We'll get him right back in there. See you later, buddy. Northland tackles tungsten and tungsten short shank jigs. These jigs fall fast and are so sensitive you can feel exactly what's on the bottom and set the hook on every bite. The tungsten and tungsten short shank jigs from Northland Tackle. We are walleye. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by 
Northland Fishing Tackle. Before you head out on the water, check out northlandtackle.com. You know, we talk about humps a lot and what we're looking for when we come out to these lakes in, in northern Wisconsin. And when you think of a rock hump, you think traditionally big old boulders on top, something that comes out of 50 foot of water, tops off at 10. And that is not the case on a lot of these natural lakes up here in, in Biles County. A lot of them are really subtle. They only top off at say 18, 19 feet. So it's just a gradual hump, not very big. And it's just a gravel, maybe one or two stray rocks. And then it hits that transition of that muck or that clay bottom, or even sand. So that's what we're really looking for. And how do you find something that's only two foot difference on the bottom? The big thing is, is we use our electronics. We use our hummingbirds. And our side imaging is crucial for this because that side imaging will show you the transition or the change in bottom content. The other thing is once we get to that, Sarah's up in the front and she's manning the mega live. And that's crucial because we can kind of pinpoint right where that break is, how far it is from the boat, make our cast a lot easier and put our boat in the right spot where we're not spooking fish in this clear water, so that's a big deal. But we're on them right now, and they're right on that transition on this hump, right about 18 foot, so I am ready to get back up there and catch myself another one. Uh-oh, get ready. Uh-oh. Really? Yep, fish. Really? Way, way oh, so you out have there. A pot and this ain't a bad there. fish, this ain't a bad fish. Another nice one, huh? Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you right now that that whole scenario was brought to you by the tungsten from Northland because I could feel everything. I'm gonna keep fishing while you... And that's what it's all about. This ain't a bad fish. I know, but you gotta wait. he said he was way out, right? I am so excited about this, I love so it. So I'll just keep fishing for This is minute. what Northwoods, Wisconsin is all about. That's a good one. Look oh. at that, look at that, look okay. at that, look at that. That's a good fish. Oh boy. Yes! <laughs> that is a nice that one, That is wow. what we're after. There Woo! You go. All right. I uh, took a page out of Sarah's book right there, went with the old went with a sucker perfect size about three inches cold cold water early season kind of go a little finesse mode put it on that one eighth tungsten that's a dandy fish that's a pork chop right there he does have quite the belly doesn't he what a beautiful beautiful fish look at that i love it beautiful walleye holy cow he's not real happy to be here no, though but that's an awesome shot right there sweet Job, Sarah. Good hook set, buddy. Yeah. All nice right. work. Let's see if we can land it. You'll get My em. confidence was a little low watching you hook set after hook set. How's he feel? Good? He feels good, yes. It only takes one good. fish to get that confidence boost. Right. That was a definite thunk thunk. Yeah, and... that's a nice feeling, huh? Yeah. I see your leader. Oh, yeah, look at that dude. Wow. Sarah, that's a nice walleye, buddy. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> I love it. That's a great oh, fish. Okay. Sweet. I feel good now. Yeah, okay. feeling good. Feel good. Looking feel good. good. Feeling Needed good. some confidence. Sometimes you just need to put one in the bag after watching your boat partner dominating. It's wrapped up in the net, but so that feels good. Sometimes that's all you need, a little confidence booster. It's a really nice fish. That is what I needed. And now, game on, right? <laughs> I love it. You might be able to hear there's some equipment in the background. Uh, we're up here, it's early season. People are getting their cabins or cottages ready for the yep. summer season. Everybody's excited about it. We are too. There's um, a leaf blower here. Yeah. We got a bandsaw over here. Yeah, there's we got a deuterino. Lots of guys working with their tools. Skid steer over there. So we're going to talk about <laughs> our tools. That's right, we're going to talk about our tools. I love we're it. We're going to break ours down a little bit. Uh, jig heads, there's a lot of jig heads on the market. Why would you pick a certain jig head over another jig head? We're going to talk about it. Yeah, we are. Uh, Northland Fishing Tackle, their new tungsten short shank jig heads are phenomenal for not only getting down deep fast because of the density of tungsten gets down mm -hmm. sinks really quick but it's really good because it's really sensitive and believe it or not if you guys haven't used tungsten before it is 
a crazy thing. Just you can tell feel the difference. You can feel the difference between if you put on lead and then you put on tungsten, you can right. feel the difference. And, and right we're away. using small jig heads today. We're using one sixteenth, one eighth, and that's one of the new things from Northland this year. They downsized. They that added tungsten. some smaller ones. We, so were we got, big fans of that. We're big fans of that. One sixteenth out's kind of right in our wheelhouse mm -hmm. for when we come out here and do this finesse bite. We talked about so many times about constant contact with with your presentation with right. the bottom. First of all, you're gonna feel fish hit way easier. And you well, need and to film because they're 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 hitting, and if they feel anything or they don't like it, they're right. gone. They're so. gone. And the second thing is, is you're able to feel what's going on down below, and you can feel those transition lines. We can we've yes. we've said transition lines how many times today? A lot. A lot. We're probably gonna say it three or four <laughs> more times. And being able to pick that up, just not with your electronics, but also but, your jig head is pretty cool. And the other cool thing is that small profile. We're talking about getting away from the boat, clear water. Clear water. Super long cast. Yeah. yeah, tungsten is definitely more dense than lead. So it's falling faster. You can right. have a smaller profile. And then that feel is, is absolutely yeah. amazing. Perfect, bud. That was textbook. I let him suck on it for so, a second. Oh, man. He feels uh, heavy. This fish feels heavy. Does he? Yes. Good, good, good. This is a... Uh, that drag is the way to go, isn't it? It's Slow, right now it keep is. it right on the bottom. That's huge. We're only getting it probably this far off the bottom, you know, four or five inches. That's where those walleyes are. They're whacking it. This is a blast. Oh, man. Look at that. Bring it right into me. Oh, oh that big look at that jig. I don't see the jig. I don't see That's it either. That's a good sign when it's down you got in, him there, in the bag. Okay. Okay. there. Yes, okay. I did. And then I just dropped her back in the water. Let's see this second. thing. Nice job, hon. This fish is frisky. Feeling frisky. Yeah, look at oh, that. Wow. This fish has a wart on his side. <laughs> sure I'll let you have been. the warded ones. Like, what do you think? Yeah, look at he's got that a little doohickey right there. Yeah. That's all right. She's gonna flop on me. And so there you go. Perfect. Go. Yeah. Nice job, Sarah. Thank you. Are you having a blast up here? I am. Now I'm like I'm starting to feel it, so yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah. I do. I'm trying to reload over here. It wasn't the best hook set, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> well, hopefully you keep them pinned. While you get minnow, I get fish. I know, I see this. I'm gonna go grab the net chach. That feels like a good trade. Does it? For me, anyways. And then he came up and dunk. And then it's like, okay, confirmed fish, absolutely. Oh, there I got, just got eyes on him. All right. Looks like a nice one. Does he? Oh my goodness. Oh Looks my like goodness. a nice oh my one. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Don't bash this up, Tyler. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that is a big walleye hunt. Nice job, buddy. Now we're feeling good. Yes. Good work. Let's see that thing. Pull him up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's Look at true, that thing. yeah. I love that. Wow. There we go. Hey, that was on a baby sucker. Was it? I'm telling it you. It's walleyes and suckers. Boy, that There's and something small. there. Yeah, something small. I got my line all wrapped up. That's phenomenal. That's a beautiful fish it right is. there. Nice job, honey. That one feels good. Good for you. Yes, thank what you very blast, much. What a blast, huh? Oh man, what oh. An, this is an, what a day, what an evening. I mean, holy cow. Can't ask for anything more. I'm mm -hmm. gonna be dreaming of hook sets, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I was just letting mine fall, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a first drag right, and see you, if we I'm got a double, ways, and then so. <laughs> and then I'll fun, and then I'll give in. What a blast! Reel in. But I just got out there. Oh, here he is. Okay, I got the net. <laughs> I'm still trying to get. I'm still trying to work, get, get my double, fish. but it's not wow. gonna happen. I've what accepted reality. A dandy. I'm gonna swing it oh, right he's into dark. It. Wow, that's a dark nice. one. Nice. There you go. Yes. I gotta reel my line in. All right, get your line up. Wow. Oh my goodness, Sarah. What do you think? Oh, that's a nice one. I gave up my quest. Yeah. I, we uh, have caught a lot, a lot of fish. Unbelievable today. What a yes. great time up oh, here my in goodness. Northwoods. Phenomenal. I want to get that fish back. Wow. That's a yes, nice, that's a, she's long, long but skinny. Long and lean, post spawner. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot, honey. We'll see you later. I'm getting hungry. Wow, it's been a day. I cannot believe how this evening has turned out and. I'm all smiles. It's, <laughs> it's good to be back in the Northwoods. It is. What a blast. What a day. And you know what? When you put all the pieces together and you come out here, these gin clear lakes up mm -hmm. in the Northwoods, they Wisconsin are, very are chock full of walleyes. 
and you just got to put the pieces together find that transition that's the key thing Don't, be a little patient right. i was being impatient We're, yeah you Not gotta be lie. a little patient you gotta find that transition of where that gravel turns into muck or sand turns into muck that they, they, they like love to, transition they up like here. to sit right on that Absolutely. not so much on top of the humps like mm -hmm. we talked about but right on the side you yeah. do that you're gonna find walleyes and the other thing is trust your electronics yes we use our electronics yeah. a lot today absolutely very crucial and then the other thing is get some tungsten jig heads from northland those things are phenomenal and they change the game if you're used to lead mm -hmm. jig heads you start using tungsten you the figure feel out, is yeah, incredible it's like you have another fishy locator yeah. in the water but when you get out there and you start casting those things and dragging them on the you can gravel the you can feel each little rock yeah. it is insane and it helps us catch a lot of fish and it helps us figure out where those fish are located yes. that's that's crucial. um my ankles are, are gonna fall asleep right now so <laughs> <All> <laughs> we're right. gonna say we're gonna say goodbye yeah. everybody thanks for watching sportsman's journal for sarah trampy i'm tyler trampy we'll see y'all again next week are you ready to experience the difference tungsten can make this open water season if so check out northlandtackle.com